Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a tough case, a 90 year old man with a lot of comorbidities and this heart cataract with small people. Let us observe this surgery. The main incision has been made, a side put has been made on the left side of the main incision and now I want to stain the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble. Now we must inject some dye underneath the iris, not only this part but we go behind the iris and inject some dye so that there is uniform staining of all around. Now this is adrenaline but the people didn't dilate in this case. This is a rigid people with we can say senile meiosis, 90 year old man. And now to do this case, I have already decided to uh, use a people expansion device and the device I have with me is is BHEX and before applying the device I am going to stress the people with this Y retractors. The shape of this instrument is like the letter Y so we can call it Y retractors. The iris has been stressed only once so this is a gentle retraction, gentle stretch of the iris. Now here goes the BHEX people expansion device. The leading flange is stuck at on go. Go to the left side, hold the flange which is located at around one o'clock and tuck it. In this case the one corner is not tucked properly so go again and tuck it properly. Now with the help of the left hand, we hold this flange, hold this tab and tuck this flange which is towards 10 o'clock. So we have only one side port and with the help of only one side port, we have managed to put this iris expansion device. And now Arexis with the help of the uterator forceps, I am doing this rexis. I want to make an adequate size rexis because I know that the contract is going to be quite hard. The patient is very old and the contract is going to be quite hard. Rexis is done and now hydro dissection is done with BSS and this 27 Gauss cannula. The nucleus is gently mobilized and it rotates nicely. Now I inject some hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and introduce the tip of the FACO needle. I go bevel down, remove some superficial lens matter and then I apply my technique which is called submarine job, Mohanta's submarine job. First remove some superficial lens matter, then turn the handpiece to make the bevel up, then use the chopper to push the nucleus little down and bury the tip just in front of the main wound just beyond the upper rexis margin. Here it is. Bury the tip, go through the substance of the nucleus at a deeper plane and go forward and have a nice crack. And in this case, we have got a nice crack from one end to the other end. So, no need to rotate 180 degree. If the other end is not completely separated, we rotate it 180 degree and do some more separation of the heminuclei. Each heminucleus is subdivided into two quarter nuclei and each quarter nucleus is again subdivided into smaller pieces. 
ultrasonic energy used from beginning till the last piece, just before the last piece is vacuum 400 to 450, flow rate 40 to 45 ml per minute. Ultrasonic energy according to the hardness of the nucleus it was 80 percent in this case. This is the last nuclear piece and now watch. Here I am going to catch the posterior capsule. Here it is. I have caught the posterior capsule, there is some wrinkling of the posterior capsule, but in time, just in time, I could release the foot pedal and I examined and I found that the posterior capsule is ok. Decrease the vacuum to 250, flow rate 25, ultrasonic energy also reduced to 70 percent and very gently, very slowly emulsify the last piece. Nucleus is managed, inject some visco and I am going to use a Simco cannula to see if there is any cortex anywhere. There is no cortex from 1 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So, I go through the side port and I find some cortex here and here I find a small nuclear piece. So, I escort it out and it is done. Inject visco and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. In this case, we are implanting a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. Leading haptic goes into the capsule bag and the trailing haptic must be placed beyond the BHEX flange, otherwise it can push the BHEX flange behind the eye wheel and then it becomes a complicated maneuvers. The intraocular lens has gone into the capsular bag, inject some more visco and then remove the BHEX ring. See how easy it is. Push, pull, pull towards center, go beyond above the iris, hold the flange just in front of the main wound, untuck the flange at 10 o'clock and make it free and pull it out. There is some iris pigmentage, pigments in the anterior chamber. We have to wash it out. I am using this instrument, this is a 23 gauze Simco to remove some visco and pigments. Go behind, behind the eye wheel, inject, flush out some VSS, irrigate and whatever visco remains between the posterior capsule and the intraocular lens must be removed. Otherwise, there will be a raised intraocular pressure in the postoperative period. This is irrigation and aspiration. There is some cortex there. Go with aspiration and remove it. And it is done nicely. This is some more irrigation and aspiration. Irrigation is behind the eye wheel, aspiration above. This is bit of moxifloxacin. The only side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound. So, we have managed this case just by one side port. If we had to use iris hooks, we had to use four more stab wounds. Iris hooks lift off the iris and the surgery becomes more complicated. 
So we are done. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will give a lot of tips to manage such cases. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence. My mission is to groom surgeons all over the world so that the whole humankind gets good vision.